Okay. Maybe it's fine now. Yo, first. Yeah! Motherfucker. No, you don't. Fucking blizzard.net. Oh my god, that's gonna crash it, isn't it? Yeah, you better fuck off all these fucking apps. Get the, get the heck out of here. What you doing? Get rid of this. Was this Skype? Skype? Who the fuck uses Skype in 2020? Really? Alright. Let's see if the stream is fine now. Alright, yeah, this is all good. Alright, so we had that weird stream crash thingy happen. Um, it's really weird. We used to have stream crashes throughout the run, and now we have stream crashes at the start. Um, I'm in, but also in stream. What's up? So yeah. Uh, we're with Asperity today. Let's go ahead and whisper the Satanology, or give him the monies. I want my flask. SP, please! Alright, hold on. I'm in AFK channel. Pull me in. They won't hear you. And I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you guys what they're saying. Oh! Oh, a Khmering Chops. And a rocket fuel. Hmm. I don't think I can content that. How about Elixir of Dream Vision? It's a good elixir to have. You can have a glyph of Fire Nova. Oh! Disco! Disco! Priest! Kek! <laughs> Fucking ass off. <laughs> yes, I'm so really? sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, look over to Discipline Priest. Okay, I just did a huge old derp. They were like, come disc, and I'm like, huh? Huh? Why do you need me to come disc? And I thought they meant Discord. They actually meant Discipline Priest. So rest in peace, Shaman. Um, this is all the Shaman you're gonna see for tonight. Did we accept the trade with Satanology? No, we did not. Yeah. Stream rate with disparity? Yeah. Alright, I missed a bunch of uh, thingies. Freak, not first, or fuck. Yeah, Diego, you got Sultan. He's really quick on the draw today. Feels better than a while ago. Yeah, sure. I don't know what feels, but uh, it's all good. So what happened with guild disparity? Well, we had issues, we talked about it like adults, and we fixed issues. That's what happened. Hey, Colt, how you doing? Hi again. Of course, man. Hope you're also having a wonderful day again, or still. And uh, let's go ahead and whisper tall. Yo, 6.5 disc. <laughs> I'm like, Discord? Heh. <laughs> it's all good though, we got it figured out. Better crash at the start than during the run? Oh yeah, for sure. Time to top DPS with chain heals? Nah. It's time to change the title and the description and the thumbnail. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but yeah, it's gonna be Disco Discipline. At least no Disco Disco Partizani this time, because nobody liked that. Abi, you're you're putting insensitive things in your title. I'm like, bruh, it's a song. <laughs> It'll happen. Alright, let's get the thumbnail for Discipline Priest. Yeah. Disco Disco! There we go, that's a beautiful description. Very nice, thoughtful. Could you maybe lower your camera to cover chat a bit more? I don't want to start any useless BS from the meters. Alright, we'll see. Um, yeah, I'll just raise my chat a bit. There. <laughs> or we can actually lower the face. Oh yeah, let's, let's, let's do it like that. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, let's get our consumables from Satanology. 6.5 disc, Saraju, no achieve. Yeah, I don't have achievement on this character, so I do. <laughs> so yeah. Once again, let's trade Satanology. Warmane? Oh, he's trading with somebody else. I'll see how it is. Two SP flask, please. Alright, I'll take the red smoke flare. I think that's one of the rarer smokes, so... Sure. I think TOGC is way more fun. As a discipline priest, um, twin Valkyrs are a lot of fun, yeah. 
You always have a smile on your head. Well, <laughs> sometimes, yeah. But there's also times um, where I don't have the smile on my face. And that's life, you know? That's fine. You just gotta find your smile afterwards. And, you know, you, know, you gotta be happier than sad for most of the time. And then you're doing a good job at life. <laughs> oh, such bad advice. I'll give your stuff. Did you leave? I got it, Nikolaus. Thanks, man. Who's your main for DKP? Saraju. Yeah. I don't know how we're gonna do it with, like, the exact guild situation. Having the characters in Claw or in Asperity, I don't think it matters that much at, at the end of the day. If we're doing, like, a timer, I might have to put a character um, in a different guild. You know, just to get... 80% of people in that raid have to be a guildie, I think. It's something like that, so... We might have to jump around a bit with the guilds, but it's fine. As long as we have DKP on one character in one guild, and DKP on the other character, we should be fine. Uh, Georgia Vukovic, thank you so much for the subscription. I do appreciate that, man. Has Satan joined Claw? No, 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 we're with Asperity tonight. But, um... Yeah. Satan is uh, in Asperity, and we still buy the flask for Asperity raids with him. Throw the red flare, it is rare. It summons Satan, oof. Oh, I don't think I want to do it then. No rest of Shaman? Yeah, I'm sorry. Go play Holy, not Disc? Hmm. Nah, that's a Shadow Priest, I'm sure. Gex usually goes for big damage. Oh fuck, I don't have Guild Repair. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go back to Asperity with our alts. <laughs> nah, it's fine. As long as we don't wipe, we should be Gucci. We still have the mechanical Grinch. We can use that as well to increase our damage per second. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why does this character feel saved? Alright, it doesn't. People have just been clearing. How about that? What's the point of DKP if you have best in slot gear? You can always have alts. Yeah. About Shaman, what is the haste on best in slot? I'm 1300, is that too high? It's never too high on a Shaman, but at some point I do think you should jam for spell power haste instead. Um, the thing is, you can never get to the point where your chain heal is going to be lower than global cooldown cast time, right? So haste is always going to help you on a rest of Shaman. But after like 1200... I do think you can go for spell power haste gems. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, because it'll give you a bit more value like that. Yeah. Oh my god. I wanna go watch TV. Come get your flask. Should I help with the summon stone? <laughs> you know, it's a warlock TV. Hilarious. What's the best pack for leveling a priest? I read about taking spirit tap and going for holy yeah until level 40 holy is actually almost as good as shadow because your spells on shadow at least on wrath of the lich king 3.3.5 your spells on shadow they don't really become a lot stronger until you get to like level 40 you get shadow form um before that it's like might as well be holy really it's not that big of a difference what's the defense gap 540 for Nux, and I think 560 for ICC. So, if you want to go for Ulduar, take something in between that. 550 should be fine. Why is your Disc Holy Priest Drenai? And no real reason besides Gift of the Naru. And yes, I am aware it's not bound anywhere. <laughs> I was thinking about um, what race do I pick. And honestly... None of the races are that great for a disc. Uh, you could go for priest, human, uh, for uh, for a human priest and get a bit more spirit like that. But honestly, it's not that big of a deal. So I figured, mm, just stick to my team, have everything on Draenei. I'll provide hit rating for that one shadow priest in group 5, you know. <laughs> so yeah. I'm the only one who walked away. Very smart indeed. 
You can do it, Mox. Just keep casting. <laughs> yeah, let's heal these boys up. What's faster for leveling, Alliance or Horde? It kind of depends where you know the route in. I don't know the leveling route for Hordes, so for me, leveling as Alliance is always going to be faster. I really doubt that Horde has any significant bonuses over Alliance. I do like the fact that Alliance has a super compact level 20 to 40 zone, and even like level 20 to 50 really. 20 to 60 is super compact. You go from Elwyn Forest, um, Westfall, maybe Lakeshire, you can skip it if you do it correctly, Duskwood, uh, Stranglethorn Vale for a while, then you take the boat, you go all the way to the Barrens. Uh, yeah, you all the way to the, to the Barrens. And there you could even level in Theramor Isle, you could level in Tanaris. After Tanaris, Ungoro is really good, even though I'm... Yeah, I, I, pref I think I prefer... Uh, I think I prefer Searing Gorge. But you could finish it like that, right? Theramor, hop, 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 Silithus for level 60, and boom. I'm not sure if it's any better or worse for Horde. I really don't know. Did Patata do good in ICC 25? And did you get some items? Patata was alright, but... There was a lot of people DCing. And I had to replace some people, and that's always pretty stressful. It slows down the raid. We had some really clutch situations, you know, in DBS. Once again, DBS was an absolute terror. But uh, that's always fun. Yeah. I thought Gnome said Priest. Yeah, gnomes are the magus. You got that right, Ember. Can't wait for the Horde sub run. Yeah, we're probably gonna do it next week. The only issue now is that if I do the Horde subscriber run and not do Batata run, then I'm not gearing Batata. And I kinda need Batata to get geared quickly. How do all the top guilds attend raids with one another? Well, usually there's healthy communication between the guilds. There's competition, healthy competition, and there's also communication, you know. I think that's really good to have. And currently I'm in Asperity and I'm in Claw. And I'm in Madness on Frostmourne. So we got quite a few raids for sure. But that's all good, man. Which is true? Is Vietnam? Which is the true Vietnam? Stranglethorn or Sholazar? The true Vietnam? Let me think here. I think it's Tanaris, dude. I mean, there's literally a PvP vendor and an Arena Master right there in God Gets On. I've never had too many issues in Shola Zarbasin, mostly because I level quickly, so even if I get ganked, I'll like, you know, do an alternative route, or I'll just get killed a few times and just still get my quest done. I want to make tea and watch homecoms. That's life. You will wipe on the horde side, so don't bother. That'll be funny to see as well. Which of the subscriber runs is better? Is it horde side or is it alliance side? I'm gonna put my money on the alliance side because I am a little bit of an alliance pleb. Opa, he's getting real jiggy with it. Is Claw a good guild? Yeah. Yeah, so is Asperity. Now we are representing two guilds. <laughs> it's all good. So guilds like Asperity, Claw, Novus Ordo, Do Sunders. Do you just have a Discord to communicate with each other and form groups? Usually you'll have an officer that is kind of like a spy. He'll join other guilds. He'll pull people in from other guilds. Um, like for example, take Boxster. He's in a lot of guilds. And that's good, because, well, first of all, it gives him content for his stream, and second of all, it makes it so that, you know, it's all good with the communication. <laughs> so yeah, it's all good. Basically, it's just like that. We don't really have a joint guild discord, now. Nah. Hey, Evilo, how are you doing? Hope you're having just a wonderful day, man. Just farm prisons in BRD RDFs. That's a good way to level as well. Yeah. The prison section, it takes like 5 minutes, and you get a whole bunch of experience from completing it. It's really good. 
You did more time in Alliance, so probably Alliance. Yeah. The first sub run on Horde side, it might be good, it might not be good, we'll see. We're definitely not gonna stop doing it, so it's all good. Find a better priest than me? That's a good quest for you. Whoop! There she is. <laughs> Boom, Helmon. You like that? <laughs> Look, it's even got holy. With body and solely. Hey, mad bars. Not really, but whatever. Eh. I'd rather have, have body and soul than that. Like, let's be real. <laughs> Honestly, if you're gonna make a holy spec, just make sure that whatever you do, take body and soul. That shit's amazing. It's so good. Or it will be better? Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Do you hate the spiders in World of Warcraft as well? Mm, not necessarily. Not as much as the ones in Skyrim. The ones in Skyrim, they're very detailed. The spiders on World of Warcraft, I mean, this game is like 500 years old. They don't look that bad. Or they look pretty bad, which makes them less scary. But yeah, I still think they're fucking disgusting and they should all die. <laughs> Imagine if Discipline Priest that body and soul. Ooh. You might as well say, imagine if Holy Priest had this, uh, this thingy right here. I don't know where it is. Yeah, Soul Warding. Wait. No, you want that. No, oh, that's an entire thing between it. So you'd only be able to get Circle of Healing? That's interesting. Yeah. I don't know. I like that. <laughs> I like that idea. I like it a lot. What is this trickery? I'm sorry. I thought it was gonna be Resto Shaman too. Poor spiders, they are defending us against mosquitoes and flies. I'll defend myself against mosquitoes and flies, thank you very much. Is it hard to get the legendary mace from Ulduar in Warmane? It's taking me about 5 years and counting, <laughs> but I don't farm it a lot. Um, I'd say it's not that hard, you just need to find the right guild or the right bug, the right people to do it with. What do you think about Elder Scrolls Online? Have you played it? I have not played it, it seems like a bad idea. What do you say about Lancel name for character? Like that, uh, that character from Game of Thrones. You had a Lancel there, right? Lancel Lannister, I think. Yeah. Is Warmain servers mostly PvE or are you able to focus on PvP? Warmain servers provide both PvE and PvP. And a pretty, uh, yeah, there's not really a lot of contendership for their uh, throne. You got Sunwell, which is good, but the population does not reach Warmain's population, I think. So yeah. Don't destroy the Holy Priest. Well, you don't really need Guardian Spirit, do you? As long as the tank doesn't die. And this is fine. Reduces the cooldown on Prayer of Mending is the thing that I don't like losing. But Body and Soul with Soul Warding? Oh, Mamma Mia. I mean, I mean, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> I might go crazy and do it. Didn't they make a PvP tournament this year? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it. I don't really check their PvP tournaments, but they have made a lot of PvP tournaments in the past. Nah. I love the spooder that costs 2 million. It's really good, detailed, and pretty. Okay, pretty, huh? <laughs> you think spiders are pretty? That's not good. That's not healthy, Helman. It's just it's it's not healthy. Spiders should give you the creeps. You want to know why? Because they're dangerous. Anything that crawls, like an insect, like either you got like a centipede going like, or you got a spider which goes going like. You know, all that shit. 
it's not good. Your your instincts should tell you, fuck, what is that thing? Do I kill it? Do I run away? It's in my house. I have to kill it. Get the papucha. That's what your instincts should tell you. <laughs> I've been looking for some good wrath content, especially live streams for some years now. Found you through a video a few days ago. Now you're live streaming. Oh yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate the cheers. Asperity streams again? Yes. Now we don't only have Asperity, but we also have Claw. We are powering up! Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's better to have both, honestly. In case something were to happen with one of the two, I wouldn't have to stress like I did um, in the previous week. And it's good to cover more. We can have different raiding times, we can have a little bit of a different tactics, we can compare them, you know, in a friendly way, of course. <laughs> Your instincts should tell you to not do the same raid 600 days in a row, and yet people are addicted to cigarettes. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> Alright, so we're healing with a Holy Paladin, a Resto Shaman, and a Restoration Druid. Um, the fifth person in group 5 is going to be a Shadow Priest. I'm not sure who I should give this um, this power infusion to. Let's give it to the mage for now. We'll see how the situation develops. We'll give the person with top deeps. Of course, we'll give that person PIs. There's the spikes. Of course, we're all going to be stacked. Don't have to worry about that. What I should be doing for the tanks is dropping the occasional prayer of mending. It's gonna help a lot. It's gonna bounce between them, hopefully, and deal a lot of healing. I saw people on warming play DK tank with two-handed weapon, so is Frost better? No, no, DK tank with the two-handed weapon is going to be the way of how you're gonna wanna do it. I'm gonna pop our glowing twilight scale right here. I'm gonna try to stay stacked. As much as we can with the warriors. And just go ahead and keep shielding. Where are you from? I'm from Holland. Imagine living a million years before now when insects were six times as big. No thank you. No thank you sir. I'll skip. <laughs> I'll skip. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, no. That's not cool. Spiders and insects, they're big enough as is. Have you seen those shits in Australia? It's not healthy, dude. It is definitely not a healthy situation. <laughs> Yo, that belt. I think I want it. I think I'll take it. Is it worth to get all the sets from tier 10 for Retribution Paladin? The off hands should be the hands. The off set should be the hands from Festergut or Hotface. Alright, let's go ahead and line aside here. Let's not have Sneaky die on us. In fact, we're gonna give him PI here. Because in area of effect situation, mages, they benefit from your PI, but Shadow Priest will benefit much more. So let's use it on the Magus here. Use PI on Affliction at 25%. I tried healing him. I knew he was gonna get wrecked, but I was not good enough. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if we have the Affliction today. I think there's only a Demonology, and we can still give the... PI to the demonology. Yeah, but I don't think that's worth it. In fact, we might have overwritten PI with heroism. Oops. <laughs> now we're gonna need somebody to tank it. Yeah, that's all good. Train soul goes boom. It does. Yeah. PI doesn't stack with heroes, so why do it at start? It's fine, man. I'm just warming up a bit there. 
don't worry, some mistakes will happen, always. Like, I'm distracted by chat, I'm just, well, not distracted, but you know, I'm paying attention to chat as well. It's all good. I eat best affliction. If he doesn't kill himself on, like, whatever mechanic, yeah, he can do some decent damage. But best? Oof. I don't know about that, man. Not so sure. Alright, we're all Gucci. I'm gonna stick to the left side here. And... Do Discipline Priest things. <laughs> Thought I saw a second Warlock. Yeah, it would have been nice. In fact, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at how the range DPS ended up as. Huh. Azari, huh? I can be down with that. We can give PI to a Boomkin. We're gonna have to do it on his Starfire face. If we do it on Wrath phase, then we're immediately wasting the entire PI. It doesn't do anything on the Wrath phase. So yeah, if we hit it on the Starfire phase, it can be good on the Boomkin. You ready to see some burst? Alright. Yeah, let's get started there. I'll keep my PI for when we actually transition the boss. You don't need more damage at this point. All you're looking for is, of course, getting that nice push. Let's try to keep these people alive. Oh, careful, tall. I got you, fam. <laughs> he just got dispelled and he got another Curse of Torpor on him, if you saw that. Oh my god! Can you stop? Oh, okay, that, that was a bit scary, not gonna lie. And I was out of range. I'm sorry, Gala. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, here we're calling uh, the stop on the boss. All the officers are. It's basically for the for the reason that I just gave you. Like at some point you have too much deeps and you gotta like actually stop deeps a bit. Uh, he's gonna unk here. Let's go ahead and fear the boomy. But he got cyclones. That's good as well. Just keep shielding. All right. How about this? He's in Wrath for the moment. I think I just saw... Yep, there we go. There's the PI. Gonna watch those spirits. If they come to us, it's absolutely phenomenal. Discipline Priest has no issues with um, kiting a spirit whatsoever. Because you're super mobile, right? You're gonna keep moving. And you're, you're still able to like do all your uh, spells. Hoppa! Gonna give me a concussion, bruh? Really? <laughs> Do elemental shamans make a good amount of DPS in PvE? No, not really. Alright. Ah! 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 <laughs> Get the fuck away from me, spirit! Okay. They're not on me, but oh my god, I'm divine hemming this shit. Right here. That's a lot of damage on the right. I should have clicked it a bit sooner. It would have been better. But here we are. Oh. Get out of here. I think I just killed that mage. That's not good. Oh yeah, so... <laughs> the disc has no issues with the spirits whatsoever. Unless you start panicking. Then you will have issues. Like always. Just 20% left on the boss. Okay, PPCs is the warrior off tank. We're running a warrior off tank today. That's nice. Alright, they're on the resto right here. I'll go ahead and shield him. Yo, what was that range? Ridiculous. 
There's a fear, but is it gonna be enough? Yeah. <sighs> Decent loot. The belt and this helmet. Honestly, not so bad. Some Skyrim stream after ICC? Um, nah. Nah, after this ICC, I'm gonna go to bed, for sure. Well, that's what I usually say, but... I'll stay up for a while. Waste my time. <laughs> you know how it goes. Let's call two memes on the phone. Nah. We're gonna keep an eye out on the deeps, but it seems like Azari is an okay thing to pick here. Ah, oh, sneaky. Look at that. It's not so bad. Yeah, we can give the PI to um, a Shadow Priest as well. It's not that bad, it really isn't. It's all about just not using it with the hero, because then you waste it. Most classes do get some kind of benefit from having the PI. Um, yeah, there's a few classes where you really don't want PI, but... Like Wrath on the Boomkin, if they're in the Wrath phase, you don't want PI on them at that point. Oppa, let's buff up a bit. Too much haste on the Shadow Priest feels awful though. Maybe. Yeah. The thing is, I don't think you can ever get too much haste in the right situation. Like, even the Mind Lace. I think you're fine with just having, um, with just having, what do you, what do you call it? Ah, with having the PI. Like, I think the Mind Flays are still going to, uh, to get some stuff from that, like, benefit. Let's go ahead and rest. It's kind of like Wrath. Hmm. Is Nibelung good for Shadow Priest? Nibelung is not really good on anything anymore because they fixed the shit out of it. Usually, like long ago, Nibelung was great because it was pretty bugged and it would spawn way too many Valkyr. But nowadays, it's not so much. Yeah. I've seriously seen um, Nibelung do more damage than all my other spells in Ruby Sanctum 25 Heroic on the Boomkin. Like, it did more damage than Starfall, more damage than Typhoon, Hurricane, all that stuff. Oh shit. Half a second channel spell? Does feel bad. Oh shit, so I was wrong about that. Well... I think it's not bad on Shadow Place though. Like, I've had it a few times on a Shadow Priest PI, and it does feel like you're you're getting a bit more damage out of it. But yeah. The, be the best option is always gonna be a mage, but if they're not doing the top deeps, then... Mm, you know, like, it, it, it quickly becomes less good. But we'll see how we use it. For now, let's just press 2 a whole bunch. What server are you playing on? This is Warmings 3.3.5 Icecon server. And will you be streaming all the war when it comes out? Of course. What's the haste cap for Shadow Priest? Um, 1260 should be fine. Like, you're gonna get 5% from the totem of the shamans. This one right here. Wrath of Air totem. Um, you're gonna get 3% from the Boomy or from the Ratri, so you technically get like 8% haste for free. So you can go decently... Uh... Yeah, you don't have to go to like 1400. But in Ruby Sanctum, um, that Mind Seer is gonna be, you know, more useful than Mind Flay. And because of that, you'll you're fine with like 1400 haste. If you equip DFO, just for Ruby Sanctum, you'll be fine. I think this is in top 3 heals. I have a video about healers. About the top 
I kind of like the top uh, DPS videos. You can check that one out. Right. <laughs> there you'll see my uh, my opinion about it. If you don't want to watch it, I'll spoil it for you, but yeah. I don't actually... yeah, it's fine. Haste this godlike on Shadow, please, don't get me wrong. It feels a bit wasted. Yeah, no, when you got heroism up, of course, like, yeah, PI is the same effect, right? When you got heroism up, I'm fine with just going for a wild magic potion on Shadow Priest. I think it's better. Did the Shaman lose weight? It seems a lot lighter. I was gonna go Shaman, but then I went... Um, disco. So now we're disc. Let's go ahead and rebuff. Like, I had to log a discipline priest, so. No, no. Guild things. You gotta do something for the guild, you gotta do it. It's that simple. Hey, Hannes, how are you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. I was looking for you, Hannes. When, um, when we were doing the sub run, I needed a rogue. And I was like, Ipsia, where are you? But you didn't respond. You already locked out. Staff for Mace, for Shadow, for PvE. Sorry, I'm new to Votlik PvE. It's all good, man. Um, at best in slot, you are gonna wanna take this combination of Main Hand, Royal Scepter of King Terran as the second, and Shadow Silk Spindle. It's gonna give you the most stats. Besides that, there's not really any good staffs for super late game. Um, there are a few decent staffs for when you're gearing. I think the best staff in the game for a Shadow Priest, I might be wrong about this, but look, you got this one right here. Halion Staff of Forgotten Love. <sighs> it's so good. It is so good. I'm a fan of Holy. I like Holy Priest too. For sure. See enemy damage taken. Or Grim's Hammer. Off. Well, somebody won. <laughs> Do you know when the next sub RS and ICC run is? Yeah, next week on Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Although, we might make that a Horde sub run and fill in the Alliance sub run on Fridays, but I'll have to see how it all works out. Uh, not so sure. I would like to do two sub runs a week, but I'm kind of already at my limit. Like, for real. <laughs> So yeah, we are going to be popping that heroism at the start right here, so PI will have to be used a bit later on. I still don't know who to put it on in this run, really. There's a few options that I've seen which are going to be good, like Razari Starfall or uh, Starfire Phase rather. I really do think that's my best option here. Like Sneaky Shadow did a bit more damage, but... In terms of value, I do think the PI is going to provide more for uh, Razari in his Starfall, Starfire phase. Hey Alvin, thanks for the good luck man, appreciate it. Did you do a bonus sub run a week or two ago? Felt like it, I missed some of the streams? That's alright, you don't have to watch all of them, that's too much. <laughs> I mean it would be good for, you know, no advertisement monies, but <laughs> it's all good. Um, I do once a week. Last week we had one sub ICC 25 and one Ruby Sanctum 25. But yeah, we don't have to do that again. Oh, that's not correct. Let's go ahead and start shielding some people. And there's that heroism. 
when would you PI a healer? If you're inside of the Frostmourne chamber and there's like one or two healers alive and they're really really struggling. At that point I would always like hit the PI on my healer buddy. Because you gotta consider I'll be one of the two healers at that point, right? <laughs> I mean... Yeah. I'm gonna want my other healer to pull a bit more weight at that point. There, we got heroism for like another 7 seconds. I might do something funny here. Oh, jeez. That's not good. Let's keep an eye out on Razari. Is that already in solar phase? Or uh, lunar? I think I missed my golden opportunity there. Well, there's a little bit of delay here, as you can see. It's gonna mess with me a little bit, but it's nothing too bad. We can handle that. Oh, throw a shield. Like, I, I, oh my god. I'm a ferret. That thing just got a triple kill. I kind of felt like those people were gonna get the clap. But man. They were standing really close. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna give it to Sneaky at this point. I was looking for like a nice starfire face to give that PI. Just like, you know, the only thing I've been talking about. <laughs> but um, I, didn't, I didn't find it. I did not find it indeed. But now this is real. This is honestly very annoying, the, de uh, the delay on Discipline Priest. Like, it makes it so that I have to look. Did I actually shield that person? Yes, no, maybe so. And that's very bad. You don't want to look at crit, like, at all. Still some beastly DPS, that's for sure. But very rough around the edges, I'd say, this skill. Let's go ahead and pass it all. Hey, good night. I got a question about your talents, because you don't have improved healing. Yeah, the holy thing. I was looking at that myself, like, hmm, I probably have a reason for this. I made this a very long time ago, but I wouldn't be able to give you the reason at the moment. No idea. <laughs> I can feel the reaching out, watching us. Maybe this one? You could be talking about that, but yeah, I don't, I don't like that as much as the, uh, as the one above. Nah. There's also this, the Empowered Healing. If I were to change anything about my Holy Spec, I would definitely take out Empowered Healing and put it in these things, because they're simply just gonna be better. This is, uh, this is a very high number, but it's your bonus healing effects, right? So I'm not sure how much that actually is in practice. I'd have to do some thinking. Buff up. Ah, we did. We will, again, don't worry about it. <laughs> What professions are best for this? Well, I really like tailoring. Tailoring is going to be giving you that mana back. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Inscription is... Not the best, but I need an inscriptionist. Right. I would go ahead and take tailoring and jewel crafting as my best in slot profession setup. Oh, inner fire! Right. Fuck. Why is the title not saying Disco Priest? It is, right? Yeah, it totally is. Go ahead and hit that reset. You'll uh, you'll see it, the refresh. I completely forgot about Inner Fire. Well, that's what happens when you play too many characters. Honestly, and as a healer as well. It's pretty chill. You don't have to, to really think about these things. But I should, I should, I should. I'm not saying you shouldn't have Inner Fire. That's very untrue. But I am saying that as a healer, I'll slack way more than as a DPS. Even though people seem to think healing is harder. In your Discipline Priest build. 
All right, let's see. Where, what kind of healing did I miss out on? A reflective shield? Improved mana burn? I don't see what you're uh, talking about, dude. No idea what you're talking about, mate. Kufos. If you give me the give me the talent name, I'll be uh, I'll be on my way. There's a combat rogue out DPS assassination at the very end of PVE, like end game PVE. I'd say assassination does a better job in Ulduar, and after that, because of the armor penetration situation, um, in TOC and ICC, combat rogue is gonna be doing a bit better in general. But um, the assassination can still keep up, yeah. Any other helmet enchant I can use for helm on Druid's tank? Yeah, there's one very fun one. Mind Amplific. Mind Amplif. Mind. Mind Dish. Fuck! <laughs> I'll go ahead and look at it like this. Mind Amplification Disc. It's not in here. That's insane, dude. I know it exists. I used it yesterday on Batata. It's basically an engineering head enchant that you learn at 410 engineering. And it gives, it's gonna give you 45 stamina. And it's gonna give you a chance to mind control a humanoid's target. The 45 stamina is why I took it. You can also go for frost resistance. You'll get a little bit less stamina. And you'll get frost resistance for Sindragosa. Or you could take Shadow Resistance and get Shadow Resistance for, you know, the Vile Spirits on uh, LK when you have to soak them. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking for that exact one, Rosen, but I can't find it. It's not in uh, Atlas loot for some reason. Let me see if I can type it properly. Mind Amplification Dish. No match found. Alright, time to go holy. Is click add-on good for PvE? I'm not sure, mate. Not sure what click is. The title says Discipline Priest for me. It should. We were holy before. Or, um, Restoration Shaman before. But yeah, I had to swap it over. Because there was another Resto Shaman. But there wasn't another disc, so... I've got engineering anyway, so it's all good. Yeah, it's all good, man. How much is the percent armor cap for Frost Decays? It's the same as every other class, it's 100%. Okay, Blood Death Knight DPS. Uh, I thought I saw Spider above me, but... Blood Death Knight DPS, they only need 90%. Okay, so not every class is the same. Because it's a good game, there's rules to all the exceptions. The other way around but um yeah 100 is going to be the arp cap and to get that 100 you'll need 1400 armor pen nice character name batata of course do you need an add-on to change the set fast nope go ahead and enter your interface features equipment manager preview talent changes hit both of these the Atlas loot never works well. What? No, that's not right. Atlas loot is a chat add-on. It's awesome. Sometimes it'll miss like a small detail, but fuck it. You try remembering everything. Poor add-on. It's all it's all right. Don't let them haters hate on you. Why is it only ninety percent for a blood death knight? Because a Blood Death Knight... Uh, what the fuck? A Blood Death Knight is gonna have this, Blood Gorged. And if you have 5 points into Blood Gorged, you're gonna get 10% healing, just or 10% ARP, just like that. <laughs> Let's get the Guardian Spirit up. And let's heal the raid. I'm not sure... Not sure if I have to go, like, inside. I 
Is this warming? Yes. No, this is Patrick. I should be starting to say that. Yeah, yeah I should say that. <laughs> it's a good one, I like it. I can just use my circle of healing every now and then. If somebody dies, they die. <laughs> They're not gonna stop me from healing the boss. We're really having a heal off with this uh, restoration boot right here. Let's get it, Lee Gray. I gotta increase my HP fives. Oh yeah, how about that, Lee Gray? You like that? Oh, he went in. Oh no. I may or may not have supposed to go inside. It's alright. I'll stay outside and keep people alive. See, that man might have been dead without me. That's why I'm here, man. I got you, fams. When the restoration shamans are outside from their inside phase, they have this kind of thing when if they crit, uh, they'll heal the low HP target in the raid. So that ancestral awakening effect. Maybe I should keep everyone on maximum health so it hits the boss instead of the people. But this is fine. Like, I always like to abuse them. <laughs> hey, rest of shamans are out. I don't have to heal anymore. Awesome. Alright, I think they're gonna pop the heroism soon. Not this one yet. <clears throat> If they're doing it on the next portal, I'm gonna pop the Guardian Spirit, Divine him. Make sure that I'm giving all my HP 5% increases. It'll be good. Yeah, now Ligre is taking it. More buttons, let's go! Ah, doesn't matter. I'm almost out of mana, we have some tools to deal with that, but I'm gonna use a potion to piss everybody off. I'm gonna click it out of my bags. Oh yeah, how you guys like that. There we go. Now with this 10% heal increase and also this 40% heal increase, they'll heal it up real nicely. Holy priest. For the win. <laughs> I think jewel crafting engineering is better endgame. Yeah. Jewel crafting will give you three more stats than any other profession, whether that be leatherworking, blacksmithing, it doesn't matter. Jewel crafting is always going to be better. You know what? We're holy. <laughs> we can go ahead and taxi people. Hey. Run faster, Nimi! Yes, fall. <laughs> uh, she'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, she's fine. The fun begins now, Syndra and Lich King. We're gonna do Syndra, then we're gonna backtrack to Professor Putoside and kill Professor Putoside. And then afterwards, we're gonna go to BQL. Well, so the fun doesn't begin just yet. Let's go, Gala! Body and soul! Gotta go fast! And for these ads, I have a special rotation I like to call Holy Nova. Let's see how much damage we can do with this. We got a top deeps. The eye sneaky on whelps? Oh shit, we gotta go disc, huh? Boo! <laughs> Fuck that, I'm gonna Holy Nova! There we are! 16 ton DPS, we're out DPSing SK Destroyer. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're doing pretty well. He's caught up. Oh god, he's used Whirlwind, I think. I just, you wait until there's more ads. My damage will grow exponentially. How about this? We'll hit the Brutling with a Holy Fire. Oof. Oh, oh, that's nasty. That's a lot of damage. 
Mentart, Yik, Mentakov, thanks for the subscription. Appreciate it, mate. Oh, look at that damage, though. We're flying up, dude. We're out DPSing Magusus and Mages. And shit. More Holy Nova. It's not working. The dream has been crushed. The dream is die. Get Glyph of Holy Nova for your Holy Spec? Yeah. Isn't Mindseer more damage? Maybe. <laughs> Glyph of Holy Nova. If I can... Oh, they're starting so fast. Oh, damage and healing. Yeah, that's, that's mad stonks right there. Where's Sneaky? Pick at the PI. There we go. Barely not on time. I'm gonna claim that victory. <laughs> yeah, easy. How long have you played on warming spot luck? For uh I don't know. It's, it's been a few years man. Ten years, twelve years, eleven years, something like that. At some point, you lose track of time, and all of the days start to become the same. And then all around you are familiar faces, worn out faces. Oh! He got the clap! There we go. Pain suppression. Now he won't die. Rogue's AFK on whelps? Hmm. Nah. No. Oh, they were probably doing something else that's important. And look, he tried so hard, he actually got wrecked. I mean, what can you ask more? Or what more can you ask? Grammar is important. How long does it take to go 1 to 80 without heirlooms on the alliance side? Uh. uh let's give our second fair ward to Sneaky as well. There you go. We're helping him, guys. Oh! Oh! He was out of range. It didn't matter. Awesome. Uh-oh. Kekko, stop with this damage in the breath and the tail swipe. So yeah, 1 to 80 without heirlooms. If you really rush it, I think I can do it in like 14 hours. Ready? Con yeah, pretty consistently in 14 hours. Anxello, shitey, thanks for the subscription. I do appreciate that, mate. Um, however, with the heirlooms, it's a stupid amount faster. Like, several hours. Like, 12 hours, 11 hours with heirlooms. It's not that bad. You've gotta realize that maybe, you know, you're watching this, you have no idea what this server is. There is experience rates of times 7. So, um, yeah, that's why it's so fast. Do you ever use Prayer of Mending? Does it suck? Big or small dick? I mean, heal? <laughs> prayer of Mending is really good. But so far, the fights that we've been on... They haven't really been able to shine, like, superbly. Um, I could have used it on the spikes on Marogar. On the tanks on Marogar. On Lady Dead Whisperer. It's really hard to use it, because the damage is very sporadic. If you know that the spirit is about to explode, you can precast it, but... You usually don't get that kind of information, right? Um, on DBS, you can keep the Prayer of Mending on the tank or on a Mark of the Fallen Champion. Prayer of Mending is insanely good. It's HP5 Beast. If you get a good Prayer of Mending, there's 60-70k healing right there. 14 hours without heirlooms? Yeah, yeah, I think I can do that. It's fast, though. Like, you gotta rush, you gotta know the route. Uh, it's not gonna be, like, a nice relaxing pace. Shadow, thanks for the subscription. I do appreciate it, mate. You are the Osmongold in Warmain? Nah, I'm Abby in Warmain. How important is pre-potting? It's an extra potion. It's an extra offensive cooldown. That's how important pre-potting is. Shit. And you gotta be in the right gear as well, that's also kind of important. 
Alright. Beer is gonna be main tank. Let's give him a nice prayer of mending to start off with. Sneaky, let's go. And there's the Unchained. Fuck! <laughs> and as a healer, in an endgame PvE guild, I'ma just chill. I'ma go to the melee because my ranged DPSers are killing me. I'm just gonna stand still. I don't necessarily have to heal as long as my other healers keep the people alive. And the more that I heal, the more damage that I'm gonna do to the raid. Oh Jesus. Sunderkans needed to heal right there though. The one stack, it's fine. That was a clutch heal. It needed to happen. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to the right side here. Who else has the thingy here? Prayer! Yes! That was a dope ass prayer. I'm with Zerti. How are you doing, fam? You having a good day, bruh? With your Shadow's Edge. Just did Ruby Sanctum 10 man for the first time. We wiped a tune. We got wiped a tune since phase 2. Aliens Unchained kept spawning near us. Or Aliens Chains. What? I'm so confused. Oh, I'm gonna save that Feral right there. When everybody is... Oh my god. When everyone's rest up, I'm, um, I'm gonna hit them with... Um... You gotta rebuff them. But that, that Unchained Magic is putting a full-on stop to it. Maybe I should help a bit with heals. I feel like it's a bit weaker than usual. It is, of course, the final run of the week. There's a lot of people on alts and shit like that. So that might be why I feel like the group is a bit weaker than I want it to be. It's not weak by any stretch of the imagination. Don't take this clip and send it to Gala and then get them upset at me. But yeah. Let's go ahead and heal up a bit. You can see where the chains will spawn. There's balls floating around. In Alien though? What chains? Oh, Cutter! Right! You mean Cutter. Hold on, I'll read that comment again knowing that it's a Cutter. For now, we need to give some heals over times. Our uh, can't... Maybe a bomb... Yes, it's it's tight, man. It's not too many uh, hots. You can get all of them if you do it fast enough. Like six global cooldowns is not impossible. But yeah, they're healed up. It's all good. Just it, Ligre, sneaky. Go. There's the tombs broken. I'ma pop my GTS. Hopefully I won't get unchained. If we do get unchained, okay I don't. Still wouldn't be a big deal, even with the unchained. I just have kept on casting. Don't let it explode. If it gets a bit worse the damage, we're gonna pop our divine him. But we're not at that stage just yet. Okay, let's go. Divine him here. Ah, fuck off. Stupid bitch. I should have checked the timer. Ooh. It's a decent loot this run, man. How about Prayer of Healing, Arby? I haven't seen you use it once. Do you spec talents or glyph into it? Prayer of Healing is something I don't like using. It's very mana intensive. Like, I'm gonna show you just how mana intensive in a sec here. If I shield somebody, I'll get like 2% mana, 1% mana that uh, gets depleted. On top of that, my Rapture proc, it can actually, or Rapture I should say, it can give me mana back whenever my shield gets broken. But, let's now use a Prayer of Healing. Oof. That's a 3 second cast time, 5% mana, 
So technically it's about the same, but once you start spamming this, your mana is gonna go to, it's gonna just go down the drain real quickly. Um I think I'm running the glyph for it. No, I even changed it here. I ended up never using it. Like prayer of healing. In a 10 man, it can be very, very good. But in a 25 man, honestly, for some reason it gets worse. You know, it takes a long ass time to cast. Other healers might have finished their heals before you finish your prayer of healing. And if you only hit like one or two target with prayer of healing, it's not worth it. Shields are so strong. I think they absorb like 18k per shield. Something stupid like that. So, yeah, just stick to shielding. What's the fastest way to get Shadow's Edge? If you can coin it, honestly, coining it would be the fastest way, technically. The fastest way to get Shadow's Edge is to just do the quest. It's a very easy quest. You only need Fester Gut and Rot Faces Blood. 25 Primos, yep. And then you have to go to Arthas' cave, to his man cave, and you have to steal his hammer. It doesn't take that long. Bubbling bus. Ugh. It's disgusting, I love it. The glyph for it is awesome. It's like the Holy Paladin, uh, the Holy Light glyph. Nah. If everyone's healed, uh, yeah, it holds everybody, basically. That's exactly what it does. But the hot itself is not that strong, and it doesn't make the spell worth it. I find myself using Dispel Magic more often. That's why I went with the Glyph of Dispel Magic. It's not good. It, it really isn't, but... In the case where you are dispelling someone, you'll be doing like a 4k heal on them or something. Maybe like a 3k heal. So that's alright. I think it's still better than a spell that I never use. You could do Inner Focus Prayer. Hey. If they allow me to like dispel something, I can show you the healing of the glyph, but they're so fast. Hunter forgot to put the snake trap. I don't think we have snake traps on dragons anymore because of the parry haste thing. Snakes are not expertise capped. It's uh, kind of scary to use it nowadays. This is one of those situations where prayer of healing is gonna be good. But even then, look at how slow it is. Half of it just overhealed because other healers outhealed me. They were faster than me. But yeah, there are definitely some situations in where you're fine with uh, with prayer of healing. Like, let's see. <laughs> Fuck! Stop outhealing me! What's this lag? Oh, never mind, I'm pressing Renew. It's all good. Uh oh. Okay, let's see. Bop! 42k heals. And somebody got fully healed, and now I'm losing a shitload of HP5 because of it. <sighs> Solo healing, I can definitely see it being used. Snake trap was a joke? No, I know. But I always used to use the snake trap myself. Three stacks of serendipity, it's okay. Yeah, but we're not a holy priest. Three stacks of serendipity matters a lot. Like, the entire holy priest playstyle revolves around using those serendipity stacks properly. So, yeah. Of course, like, if you're gonna take an entirely different spec, you might even consider using Incinerate as a demonology warlock. As long as it's... Molten Core, hold on. Correcting myself right there. Do you play Horde? Uh, yeah. Actually, take a look at this. In the announcements of today on the Discord, link for the Discord is going to be in the description down below. Check that! Skyrim, the dwarf, I have transferred her to the Horde side. So we can do some subscriber runs on the Horde side. Let's go ahead and buff up. I think they were in range. Yeah, beautiful. 
Is there any add-on that allows you to zoom way back so you can see the alien orbs and raid at the same time as a tank? It's not an add-on, it's more of a console command. I'll uh, get it up for you real quick and put it in the stream chat. Uh, this is another thing that you can find in my Discord in the frequently asked questions. Right there. So there was something about aliens chains. Okay, yeah, icy feet. Just keep an eye out on uh, on the ball in front of you. It's a it's a debate. It's honestly like a noob trap. Okay, cutter is coming. Let me turn my camera around. Oh shit! Suddenly I'm walking into the wrong direction. I'm wiping the raid. The orb that you want to keep an eye out is in front of you. There's gonna be one orb here. There's gonna be one orb here. Do you see what they do? That's kind. Of, my hands can't, but that's how they move. So obviously, if you have one orb behind your left shoulder, you're gonna have one in front of your right shoulder. You feel me? And that's how you should think about it. Let's be Irazari for a change. Alright, I can reach just about everybody here. I think I'll stick right here. This is fine for me. Let's go ahead and pop the GTS here. Get some nice, juicy, big heal over times. I'm gonna take this orb here, or the spore rather. There we go. Mate, where can where can I find the best in slot list for DK or Hunter for TOC? I'd highly suggest you you know Google. Google will help you with most of your questions, mate. And I don't mind answering Googleable questions, but I don't know this answer, so you're gonna have to Google it. It's the best advice I can give you. Cali Montivox. Oh shit! Um, yeah, I'll take another spore. I'll need two spores at the very least. Unless I pain suppression myself, but I kinda wanna keep my pain suppression for that feral tank. In the third phase, tanks do take quite a bit of damage. Nope. You can shadow meld it, but I'm not a night elf. <laughs> At that exact instance where I said you can shadow meld it, if you were to get Vile Gas on your night elf character, and you see that whole DBM thing go like herp 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 herp. At that point, shadow meld it and you will be fine. Hello Nimi, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. The radius of the actual explosion is actually pretty big. So even if I were to stand like pretty far away from the spore, I would still get the debuff and I'd still be fine. Alright, I'm gonna divine him this, you never know. Ah, oh, poor sneaky. Alright, Razari, how about that starfire face, huh? I'm running out of people to click next to you. Oh, he's right over there. Fat fuck. Don't worry, that's my friend. <laughs> Let's go for one more GTS. There we go. Very good. Are you you scared him off to Google and now he's not gonna see my response? Hey, sorry. <laughs> How do you get coins? Well, one good way right now is to go on Frostmourne. Frostmourne's valuta, Frostmourne's currency, is a lot more uh, pricey than the Ice Crown currency. And it is, it is farmable. What a lot of people do on Frostmourne is that they uh, go to the auction house, they buy stuff for cheap, and then they sell it for expensive. And if you control the auction house like that, You'll be able to make a bunch of money. It's not easy. You're gonna have to fall f to fall flat on your face a few times. Late PI? Yeah, I know. It's all good. Um, you're gonna have to fall flat on your face a few times. And uh, experience what it's like to control the auction house. But that is by far the best way to make money.
Donate 10 euros to get, pre to get premium and start farming gold. Exactly, Mentar. Mentard. Jick? Yeah, I'm just gonna call you Jick. Uh oh. Oh no. Pull quick. <laughs> I feel like giving him pain suppression. You just make it worse. <laughs> Alright. As a ranged DPS, you definitely don't want to be standing in the melee here. So don't ever stand in the melee as a ranged DPS on 25 heroic. On normal, it's fine. It's actually a tactical normal. It's not so much on heroic. Bet the tether. Don't you dare die. As a Discipline Priest, I'm going to prioritize shielding the people with the disease because the disease reduces healing, uh, healing taken, but it doesn't necessarily reduce absorption taken. You see how little I'm healing him. Uh, let's go for the PI here. Oh, come on, you fuckers. How's that kind of heat vision, huh? Heat seeking slime puddle. There's a big ooze, let's walk a bit away from it. Because of that exact reason. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna accept spam shields on myself. Of course, we don't wanna die a second time. Tank was pretty slow to pick it up there. But it's a wire tank, what do you want really? That'll happen. Alright, we're gonna need mana. This is a good time to show it. If you need mana as a disc, just go for the Shadow Fiend, pop the Hymn of Hope, and watch my mana come in. I'll be full mana when the Shadow Fiend is done. Nah, it's a bit unfortunate. Nah. <laughs> 10 stacks and I'm getting the puddle again. Right. Um, the coins, so in-game value or what? Okay, so the coins are indeed um, website value. They're things that you buy for euros. They're kind of like pay-to-win coins, right? I don't know what to compare it to. Um, they're not really pay-to-win. Like that's a whole other debate, but it's I don't have a better way of saying it. It's coins that you can use to buy gear, like, did RuneScape have any of that shit? I don't know, dude. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, um, it's a website coins. You can sell gold in-game for website coins on the website. What are the classes that are important but not played a lot? Boomkins, Immunology Warlocks, um... Marksman Hunter, honestly, isn't it a good idea to try to save Shadow Fiend for Bloodlust Heroism? Yes, it's an awesome idea. It's a really good idea, but in that situation, Heroism was already popped and I couldn't take advantage of it. Err, uh, I'll go inside. Engineering, hoppa! Grats! Oh, somebody else went inside. That's okay too. <laughs> Fast question, how to make it like yours for the shields red and yellow to see when they expire from the people? That's a quick question indeed, Nikolai. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to go into your grid settings. Ah, where's the grid settings? Go to status, auras, and you'll have buff power word shield. Put it on yellow or red, whatever you want. Show with mine. Enable. Maybe you can even show duration, but I don't think that's necessary. And it only works for the center icon, so... Go ahead and do it like that. Then you're gonna have a debuff. Weaken Soul. You make that red. And... Bada bing bada boom. You go into frame. Top left corner. You turn on Weaken Soul. Top right corner. You turn on... You, you guys know what I'm talking about. We've got a lot of fucking ads here. Holy mamma mia. Blood sapped. Oh, that's not good. Come on. Get me out of this.
Come on, Kex. Mind steer faster. Oh, I got hopped. I like it. I felt like I was about to get sniped by a tactician. Ah. Change of shadows on the discipline. I can actually dispel that with master spell, but I'm the disc. How unfortunate. Okay, now the game is just trying to fuck with me. <laughs> Thanks, man. You save me like two seconds in combat as it is. Yeah, quick question, huh? I like it. Let's get more quick questions. Maybe we can even get a slow question at some point. Ah. Healing looks hard. Healing is boring when everyone's full health, but when everyone's 20% health, healing is like 150 heartbeats per minute and you're going crazy and your forehead starts sweating. Bruno Lurero, thank you so much for the subscription. I do appreciate that, man. I joined Alliance for you, and I joined the Horde for you, Yaga. Look at this. Err, uh, announcement. Boom. That's my character on the Horde side. In a few days, I'll be part of Alliance with vote points. Ooh, you might want to postpone that a bit. Enter or Death Knight for Ice Count Citadel. Both's fine. Um, if you want to get into a raid, I would definitely, I would definitely say Hunter. It's way more responsible than a death knight. You have misdirections to keep track of. You got a lot of stuff to do. Flask. Oh shit. I haven't been using that at all, huh? And inner fire. I learned from you guys. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm on, 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 on chill mode today. Yeah. And that's not necessarily a good thing. But it's not necessarily a bad thing either. How do you know who to heal? Alright. In this situation, this all depends on your knowledge of the game. If you were to progress, um, if you were to progress through um, ICC for the very first time ever, you're gonna stress. You're gonna have that 150 heartbeats per minute every single minute. But once you get used to where the damage is coming from, <clears throat> like right here on this boss, at the start, there's a lot of area of effect damage, but there's not a whole lot of tank damage, so you can focus on healing the people instead of the tank. On Rot Phase, it's actually a really good uh, mechanic to talk about this. When he does the slime spray, everyone in a cone in front of him is going to be damaged. If you can see who those people are, you'll know who's going to get damaged. You know, it's about experience, it's about quick reaction, like Loldap said. It's, uh, yeah, it's about experience, knowledge, skills. <laughs> hey, Hans, wish you a nice evening. Thanks, man. I wish you a wonderful day as well. What do you think the third and fourth best trinkets for Hatri Paladin are? I never thought about it. That's verdict or that's choice is definitely in there. Huh? What was here? That couldn't have been potion. Whatever. Um, Whispering Fang Skull is in there. That's choice, that's verdict. I think we covered them. <laughs> Thank god you didn't ask for a fifth trinket. That would have been hard. Will you ever play Resto Druid? Yeah, sure. If we have to play it at some point. I don't really enjoy playing it. I don't like the heal over time system. I, get, I can't get used to it. There is Unbound Plague on this boy. So I'm gonna bring that Unbound Plague from one to another. And there we go. Alright. We have the red debuff, but we're a healer. It doesn't matter. As a, as a Discipline Priest, I'm just gonna focus on stacking up with the green ooze to share that damage. Because I am super mobile. 
I want to be blown towards the table. So we're gonna do that exact thing. Let's go ahead and put a very late BI. There's a big player of mending. Now there's the malleable. Right, we're good. You want to keep putting your shields on the big A-bomb. So that, yeah. Like I saw him. I saw him that he was about to get blown up by the choking gas. That's what, what I was talking about. That's the experience factor. You can see where damage is coming by using your forehead with your eyeballs. <laughs> oh shit, that's malleable. Um, I was saying something, but I forgot. Alright, keep using shield on the A-bomb. You can give him energy with the talent that you have. That you should have. That hunter might get blown up. That Magus is definitely gonna get blown up again. Oh, Michael. Oh, Michael. I should have given him pain suppression. Should have given pain suppressed there. Disc is just putting shields. Pretty much. Shields, the occasional prayer of mending. That's uh, the big part of it. Don't forget about power infusion. I could have saved Michael's life with pain suppression right there. Like, I saw it coming. Why didn't I fucking pain suppress him? That actually, like, I'm annoyed by myself. It's disappointing. <laughs> I could have saved his life, made a play. But nah. Instead, I was giving stupid commentary. Oh well. Gonna learn from that mistake. Next time I see that, that boy's gonna get a pain suppression so fast he can't say no. Back! Did I PI myself? Shit. Well, that's a fast as fuck divine him then. <laughs> I'll take it. I don't care. <laughs> we got the heroism up anyway. Wasting that PI is not even that big of a problem. Nice. Didn't expect a top heal here. Like, Ligre is really good. He's shown some very nice results. Are the heirlooms locked on one server, or can you send them over from server to server? You cannot. No. They are locked on one server. Um, I don't even think you can send them from faction to faction anymore. Yeah. Tank spot is the best place to learn tanking tactics, by far. Even though it's... A little bit different on some of the bosses on Warmain, you are going to be able to learn about all of the tactics with the tank spot videos. It's how I learned it 10 years ago. It's how I uh, highly recommend everybody else to learn it 10 years later, right? Hey, this boss, or just boss, how are you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day, man. Which class is your main? Well, you might think I'm a noob, but it's Retribution Paladin. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> They'll call me a noob. <laughs> you also have battle rest and innervate? Yes. Does the shield heal? I thought it just gave absorptions. The shield does give 20% of your absorption effect as a heal. So, using that, it's a 5k heal, right? I'm gonna do some... I'm gonna whip out the calculator. That's word path. I'm gonna whip out the calculator. 550 times 5. That's the Discipline Priest Shield. That's how much absorption I'm giving to a mage. You wanna know how much health the mage has? Oh. Barely. Three. Like. <laughs> I wanna put it in some, light ma in some nice math term, but. Yeah, look at that shield, it's ridiculous. Now, I'm not sure if the crit actually works, but let's take 3k. Let's take 3.3k. 3, 3k times 5. That's still a massive amount of absorption. That might even uh, make it even stronger. 
This plane is so good. Why do you enjoy playing Ratri? I get to smash keyboard. Yeah. That's really it, man. It's a lot of fun. Because of that. Is mage not good? Because none of the mages are top deeps. It is the 6th run in Asperity, so you're not gonna see the, the like the conventional meta because people are on their alts, there's skill involved instead of just pure RNG. They might not even be best in slots, you know, some people. But I will say, Xerti with the 17k as a melee deeps, you know, even Miss Rogue is like so close to 17k on Professor Putra's side while swapping to Uzes, that is impressive. Yeah, there's still a lot of damage. A lot of it. What's the best in slot necklace for a Discipline Priest? I like to take the Holy Days Grace, but it is one of those items that's a little bit argued by people. You could say BQL Neck, that one is gonna be fine too. But I don't think you need more haste, so I'm fine with having the, the MP5. And you gotta think it about this like well. This, this neck is gonna cost me 5 DKP. BQL Heroic neck is gonna cost me about 5,000 DKP. Right? So when you think about it like that, I'm gonna say that this neck that we got right here, currently, is best in value. It's Biff. Okay, let's heal the tanks real quickly. The first thing you do after an Empowered Shock Vortex is walk towards the tank and make sure that they're fine. The melees, either they get one shot or they'll be fine. You don't have to worry too much about them. Okay, there's no second Empowered Shock Vortex, that's very fortunate. Or sneaky like. Where is he at? In like our main runs, you definitely see the mages out damaging the Shadow Priest, for example. It's only because we're doing um, this run at the moment. Yeah. Like the sixth run. Up! Oh, I didn't see that. That's fine. Let's take a walk. Ooh, don't you dare die on me. That's not gonna happen, my friend. Alright, it's on Kettle Set. That fire did a lot of damage. Let's pain suppress the tank real quick. Yeah, he's on two stacks. I'm not sure if he wanted me to pain suppress just yet, but I felt like it was about damn time. There's only a few more percent left, I can just spam heal. He has two orbs. Yeah, it's all good. It's decent loot once again. Like, not perfect, but it's alright. The Fury will always win. Yes, <laughs> if you can cleave, the Fury will win. Can Retribution outperform Fury? So, if you're doing a zero buff or a no buff entire run throughout the, the thing, you can actually out DPS Furies as a Retribution Paladin, because you get to use your Avenging Wrath twice. If you're doing a standard ICC clear, you can only use Avenging Wrath once. The second time you might have it for like far, 4 seconds into the fight, but it's not enough. The way that no buff LODs are going to work, it's a bit more, it's a bit better for the Red Race. Yeah. I've topped DPS as a Retri on no buffs against really good warriors on some fights not all of them but um the no buff helps yeah i don't play paladin but i think that's pretty much it paladin's op when it comes to survival yes ratri has a few tricks up his sleeves to tank a few tough hits from stuff that would kill them like area of effect bombs or something yeah You've got the plate armor, you got the health bar, you got sacred shield, you got art of war, 
Lay on Hands, Divine Shield, Divine Protection, Divine Sacrifice, Divine Guardian, Aura Mastery. You wanna go on? Because I can't, I just set everything. <laughs> That's about it. Ratrisar. They have too many buttons. People will say Rat is like a three buttons back. They're wrong. <laughs> They're just wrong. Frostmourne has a discount on heirlooms, but Ice Crown doesn't. Feels bad, man. Yeah. I think Frostmourne has those bundles that they sell. I wanna... <laughs> I wanna know how much money they make. From heirlooms alone. Have you rated with Serenity? No. No. Not yet. <laughs> Finally a priest- Oh, Dimitar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Honestly, that was so frustrating, but it's fine. You didn't- Why don't you mouse over the shields? I tried it, and it felt very alien to me. I- You gotta realize, I was used to this for like, you know, as long as I can remember that I've played this. So changing my playstyle at the moment, it's gonna be really tough. Like, it's not so easy. Off tank got bite. Rip. Let's go for GTS. Gala's just gonna use the Cloak of Shadows right here. And it's all good. He doesn't even have to move out. Why is my mana so fucking low? Did I start the fight with no mana? Ah, fine. We'll have to try hard. Alright. Let's go ahead and get some mana back. Um, we can actually wait until heroism this time around, and I'll show you guys. Even the better version. The even better version, I should say. Okay. I can't wait any longer. So I have to do it right now. I feel like there's a mosquito flying around my right arm. Specifically my right arm. Ooh. Dios mio. You started with 30% manas? Oh. <laughs> it's all good, we're disciplined, it's not hard. <laughs> you can just stand here and cast spells. Look at that mana. Shadow Fiend plus Hymn of Hope. It's too much, guys, it's too much. Getting a prayer of healing on the melee is always gonna be good here as well. Yeah, that mosquito, either that or there's like a little. There's like a thread or something coming out of my. My cool polo. Miss? I need more hit rating. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and use Divine Him here. Oh, he got nuked. Way too stacked. Way too stacked. Kex Goban. Sneaky. There you go. Oh no, Max took aggro somehow. And I can't. What? What's going on here? Very weird. <laughs> the rest of the route got bitten. Oh, this, this is beautiful. Shoot holy fire on the mosquito? Yeah, maybe it's gonna hit. Okay. If the mosquito doesn't fuck off now, I fired a warning shot on the boss. I missed on purpose. Like, look at Prayer of Healing. Uh, such a disappointment every time I do use it. Let's go ahead and pop a fear ward on ourselves. And just run the flames around like this. I'll stay in range of my tanks. I'll stay in range of the rest of the group so I can continue healing. It's good like that. We might get a second fear. Considering that we did lose a few DPS along the way. And that we didn't get a good bite at the start. That was a nice blink. Good job, Arch Archmage. 
Yeah, we're gonna get a second fear. Maybe not. Yeah, we, we're gonna get it. A few people didn't get hit, but... Oh. Let's see if we can bug the game a bit. Nah, you gotta be higher up. There's no actual texture over there. Like, there's a line. At some point, there's texture. But before that, there's no texture. So you can fly right through that. Did Asperity change the name? Oh yeah, Claw is much better. <laughs> of course not. No, this is just a different, uh, different guild altogether. Uh, okay. I'm gonna wait here and I'll, I'll resurrect them. I'll res you. Harald, Udegaard, thank you so much for the subscription. I do appreciate it, man. There's your 5000 DKP. This is why I'm gonna stick to this. It's best in value. <laughs> No, no, no. I'll res. <laughs> 500. It's not so bad until now. Huh? That's a cheap BQL neck. Very, very cheap. Of course, you never know how much it would have gone for if I would have a bit against that. Ninja Choker, it's worth the ban. Oh yeah. I didn't change guild necessarily, I just joined another guild. So, we're raiding with Asperity right now. And, uh... On other days, we can raid with Claw. You know, it's good. Why didn't you bit? Because I don't need it. I'm fine with having this neck. Like I said, I don't need more haste. The only change that would occur if I were to get this right here is the 60 haste. I don't care for the 5 crit. <laughs> I don't necessarily need that 60 haste. I'm fine with the amount of haste that I have. It's the same gear score. Um, somebody else needed it as well, you know. As an actual increase to his gear. The mage got it. So. The fact is, if I'm not getting the item, someone else is getting the item. I don't even really want it. A lot of people want that item, so it's whatever, I'll pass. That's too much DKP, man. <laughs> That's like 3 ICC, 25 heroics. Show your gear, please. Yeah, you can find my gear in the description down below. There's a link to the War Main Armory. Although that might still be for the Restoration Shaman. Give me a sec to look. Links. Elifia. Yeah, that's the Restoration Shaman. Alinea. There you go, fixed it. You want to take a detailed look at the gear, there will be the War Main Armory link. Besides that, we have pretty much best in slot gear. I, got, I like to use the Solas. You don't really need it for most fights that are short. But I still like it. I can just zone out, have a chat with you guys. <laughs> I got the Gunship Trinket as well. Right over here. But like I, like I was just saying, Solus, it's fine. Using the Shadow Priest tier 10 chest, of course. Dark Glow Embroidery to get that mana back. On the back. Yeah, I can see some wordplay with that, but I'm not smart enough to figure it out. And yeah, I do have the four set of... Of course, I transmogged this little head into a circlet. So, yeah. Any tips on gold making on Frostmorn? You can either solo old dungeons yourself, Zulgroup, Molten Core, AQ20. Maybe go with a friend if it's too hard the first time around. Um, you can also control the auction house. That's the better way of doing it. Stromze Dreva or Dreva? I don't know how to say that R. Please help. Storm, thank you for the subscription, or Ström, thank you for the subscription. I'm completely massacring your YouTube channel's name, but I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Maybe it's Ström. 
instead of Ström. <laughs> I don't know. Why are you using the tier 10 from Shadow Priest? Because it is going to be the best in slot chest for a Discipline Priest. Um, it might sound weird, but it really is. Like the stats on it is just beautiful. Crit haste. Inside of Ice Count Citadel, you'll find chests that have Spirit, MP5, Blech stats. You don't need that. Just get the Shadow Tier 10 chest. What's the spell hit cap for Shadow Priest? The base spell hit cap for any caster is 17%. Shadow Priests are gonna have a few talents that help them with their hit, with their hit rating. Um, Misery, there's 3% hit. And you also have Shadow Focus, that's another 3% hit. So you take 17, you remove 3, you remove another 3, you're at 11%. Then if you have a Draenei, you can go ahead and remove another percentage because of Heroic Presence. So yeah. 10% in the right si in the right situation. Alright, I'll check the comments in a bit. I'll definitely read them. Don't you worry! But I gotta do some uh, some raiding here as well. There's the infest, let's get some mana back. Boom, full mana. But how did you do that, Arby? Did you drink a potion? Well, yes sir, I did. Uh, I should probably use my pain suppression, there we go. PI, rather. Go ahead and focus your shields on the squishy people. Yeah, there's a crazy amount of delay. It's really tough at the moment. Oh shit, that's really far up. Let's go ahead and shield the tanks. I misclicked, so that's what it is. Arch Magus. He uh, disconnected. I don't think he's with us anymore. So yeah, go ahead. Shield the squishy people. The warriors, they'll get healed by the Restoration Druid. By the Holy Paladins. Holy Light. Glyph by the Restoration Shamans. Chain Heal. So yeah, it's all good. Oh shit, please don't break the shield on Nimi. Okay, something broke the shield early. Or someone. But it's okay. We still have the Shadow Fiend. We don't necessarily need to cheese Rupture that much. Oh my god, he got fucking wrecked. Just get rid of that. Let's go for some GTS here. We almost have... Shit. This is good. What he's doing right now is very, very good. God damn, homie. Good job. No, just don't die. Very nice. Very fucking nice. That was a good-ass save, guys. That was an unholy DK DPS. He popped all the cooldowns, death grip shambling to him, shambling horror to him, and then he handled that situation like a fucking professional. Good job. Oh shit, the DPS is not right. I'm sorry guys. So you need 5 Drenais. Yes, it's group only. And you gotta realize, you gotta realize that, um, You gotta realize that it's a 30 yard range, so stay close to your Draenei. Give her a nice hug. Phase transition is coming soon. Let's see if we can get as many shields on as many squishy people as we can. The first infest is always fucked. Okay, that infest wasn't even that terrible. Just keep spamming shields. It's really important to not panic and like start casting um, some heals. Even though infest can look pretty scary sometimes, let other healers deal with that scary infest. 
You're gonna have to deal with the rest of the scary ass infest, right? There was a saying to that. Dude, that mosquito, I swear to god. I will find his fucking mother and I will suck the blood out of her tiny fucking corpse. <laughs> that, that mosquito is giving me anger. You can use a... a, a pain suppression, or like a... Like a prayer of mending every now and then. It really doesn't hurt. Especially if it bounces to a tank. It's nice. Stack up for Valk, spread out after the Valk, get ready for defile. Alright, that's a proper invest right there. We still got some minor shields on the melees right here. Let's keep them on the shield on the uh, on the melees like that. We got 30 filing coming. Valkyr and defile. Defile is not on me. And Valkyr is not on me either. Good shit. Alright, Infest is coming up. Let's see. Where's Sneaky? I feel like Sneaky's grabbed. I haven't used Power Infusion in a while. Alright, we're just gonna use Power Infusion in the transition phase here. Or should we? Starfire? Come on, Razari, make me proud. <laughs> you got Power Infusion, just cast! Just cast! Fuck the defile! <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop GTS here. To get ready for this um, transition phase right here. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely divine hemming. I should have done it earlier, even. Let's go ahead and buff him some spamina. I'm gonna spread out from the group so I don't take that laser beam to the face. Worst thing is waking up to mosquito noises in your ear. You realize you've been bitten four times. Dude, yeah. The worst thing about mosquitoes is that fucking poison that they leave inside of your body. Why do they do that? Just take my blood. Don't don't put poison in me. That's gonna make me itch the entire week. Why do you do that? What's the purpose? Take my blood. I'm fine with you getting a nice old donation of Abby's um, C-type++ plus plus blood. But... Why do you put the poison in me? Why do you poison me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Razari got the trap. Ooh, mama. It's pitch black and the fucker is still out there somewhere. Sounds like a like a noir movie. It was 3 a.m. I woke up with a mosquito buzzing in my ear. It was the worst buzzing I've ever heard. It was worse than Cuba. The thing that made it even worse was the fact that even though he had assaulted me viciously, the offender was still out there waiting for me to go to bed again so he could once again buzz around my fucking head. The worst. Oh, let's move out. All right, Michael, you can do it. Do come, go to then. Pop, 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 pop. All right. When the raging dies, it's a good moment to go ahead and cast mana him. The pressure on the group is not so high at the moment, so Shadow Fiend, divine him. The files incoming. It's not on us. And there's a nice little trick you can do here. The Vile Spirits will actually show you if you have aggro, right? I could stand in the middle of Narnia and they will never ever come to me unless I specifically see that I have aggro. I can see that on my grid, I can see that on my character portrait. 
As long as I don't have aggro, I don't have to worry. If I do have aggro, you're going to press fade. Type C++ blood. I don't even know what that means, but yeah, sure. It's a joke, I guess. <laughs> duh, 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 bite. Did I say that? I don't think that's poison, Abby. It's a chemical thing that comes out of your body to a reaction of the bite. Oh, that's why you said it. I figured I was like panicking in the middle of a sentence and I said the same thing five times. <laughs> No, this is Patrick. There, it's a joke. <laughs> they said, hey, I'm lagging. And I said, no, I'm Patrick. Hilarious. Hilarious, guys. Laugh, please. Give me some self-esteem back. <laughs> that joke was fucking horrible. I'm gonna hit him with pain suppression, because I feel like it. Oh, Hazari. Michael, you can do it. We're losing a few people, but that's alright. We're basically done at this point. How much percent? 8%. We'll get it. Bet the laugh. Yeah, you can get that if you if you uh, unlock the hero tier. <laughs> if you give me some money, so I'll give you some fresh emojis. Oh, the warrior tank! Alright, the big old beer tank got saved. Miss? Yeah, bam vam. You know what. <laughs> All female mosquitoes worship the blood god? Which one was that? Corneas? There was a Warhammer god that was the blood god. Anyway. <laughs> Abby is from Greece, am I right? Nope. I am from Holland. Hey Shade, I just tuned in. How you how is it going? Well, this is how it's going. We alright. We just got that LODs. Pretty clean run. Yeah. Can someone help me who knows English better than me? I want to ask, does the name Pompey sound like Pompey? It does, Dushan. <laughs> oh, there's the blanket. Give me some Right, we don't have Peppa laughing. These are the emojis that we have. <laughs> you died, your raid is wipe. Yeah. In two hours? Eh, that's pretty good. It doesn't work, guys. I can keep clicking this and nothing is gonna happen. <laughs> Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, you can release when the sword shatters, as I found out a few weeks ago, <laughs> like one week ago. But yeah, this is almost as smooth as the day sub run. Almost. Except we missed a few disconnects and people having to be replaced. How do you know Serbian? I played on Warmain for a very long time, and Brate. <laughs> Actually, Dakis. I had an officer in Dignity a long time ago with the name Dakis. Like uh, Dakis instead of Dakis. Right, it's still Tuesday, technically. I got confused. <laughs> it's alright, Dushan. Top 4 is all warrior DPS. Yeah, we can take a look at how the DPS looks like. Ah, sad. I think he got picked up by a Valkyr. Must have. Oh, the Kitten. I think he's been doing good damage on other fights. Maybe he was just pressured a bit on this fight. Panicked maybe a bit. It's not easy to play Feral on LOD. It's a long fight. There's a lot of things to keep in mind. Alright, Kex. There you go. Let's take a look at enemy damage taken. We can kind of see what happens here. A raging spirit. Oh, Boxster coming in hard. That must have been the kill shots. Yeah. It's all good damage. 
Razari, Razari is actually pretty low on those. Did he die after or before? I would have expected more from him on Ragings. On Valkyrs, everybody did very well. You see the Red Tree? They're toe to toe with the Fury Warrior. And the Mage, I'm sure he was living bombing his ass off. Like. Oh! Bog! Double Havoc. That's not even bad. See, Lich King, Warrior is King, yeah. Yeah, it's hard to fight that warrior, man. They're so dominant. Ghouls? <laughs> yeah. I played with the same Nick. Ah, Dake, Shizel, Naga, Pala, all dignity people? Yes. And I played with them. They let me, and then they stopped playing, and I was leading dignity for a bit. <laughs> for a bit. Then I got kicked. Shizel was like, you are very rude. So, uh, yeah, that was that. But man, the old dignity, that was really bad. Or really good times. Sit on the throne. I don't have Kanye West's chair next to me, so I can't. Oh! <laughs> What's going on if Lich King enrages, enrages after the mass resurrection? I don't think he does anything. Even if he were to enrage, eventually Tyrion Fordringer, that fake-ass paladin, is going to slowly, slowly kill him. Yeah. Why does the Shaman have a DFO? Uh, which one? The DPS? Max? You're gonna have to um, inspect him on the Warmaid Armory. I'm not in range of him anymore. Or you can go to his stream and ask him. He's also a streamer. He's on Twitch. Go and tell Bolvar that Sylvanas is coming. I wish, man. Do you even like fan raids? Yes, I do like subscriber runs, but they are stressful. For sure. Do a quick horde RDF? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna get out of here. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna get out of here. I had too much work at the university and the stream is over. No! Rip Evolicious! I'm gonna publish my new schedule on Discord in a little bit. And then we're gonna get a Variety Night poll up on YouTube. So keep an eye out on all the things. I'll uh, get more stuff coming your way. The enhancement at DFO Trinket. I don't know, you can ask him. Yep. Dignity was awesome. Are you gonna play Ulduar and Frostmourne? And are you gonna do a sub run? I'm gonna play Ulduar and Frostmourne, not sure about the sub run. But guys, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. So yeah, have yourself a wonderful night. Good night.